The path grader tool and the area grader tool are actually joined at the hip and are very, very similar. The path grader simply has some initial constraints, but you can edit the points later, and it behaves very, very similar to the area grader. So let me just show you quickly how the path grader works. We'll go into plan view. Again, we want to create an access into this driveway. We click on path grader and we push shift if we want to keep things straight and we right click when we want to finish our path we can move it and adjust it and if we look in perspective we can see how our path grader has uh, knocked an area flat up to the uh, front of the garage again I like to put my height taper at 100 to give you sharp edges so that you can build retaining walls along this edge afterwards and you can take the house and make adjustments so that uh, it, uh, it all levels off. Now if you notice here in the front of the house this area needs to be cut out too. So the easiest way to do that is just to go into edit points and insert points Go back into plan view, we'll throw a, a point in there and another point there and we'll just make our, our walkway in like so and we'll go about this far and create our front entrance. Once we're done with that just click edit points off look into perspective and you can see here our cutout. You can fine-tune the points of the cutout to go up to the house or you can also give the house at this point a little nudge as well. So now the whole area has been uh, cut out. Now if you want to put a driveway in there real quick here's a cool little tip. You go to shape options copy shape, go to your build, click patio and shape options on the right here again, paste shape and you will put in a driveway completely uh, in that whole area. So that's a nice quick way of, of uh, creating a cut in area. You'll find that the uh, both tools whether it's the uh, uh, path grader or the area grader both will do the same thing um, and you'll really really enjoy working with them